Hello everyone, how time flies? This semester, the most thought-provoking learning for me resulted from the theory of ethical thinking. Ethical thinking requires us to consider the moral content of the practice. I clearly remember the two goals I wrote on letter to self. Achieve a world with excellence and become a research manager by 30 years old. I didn't think about my responsibility to other individuals or groups. I was kind of egoistical who only focused on personal gains and losses. As Lin said in the lecture, teleology as a consequences-based ethical framework is very practical, but it could be failed in some situation. Virtual ethics is a framework which goes beyond the calculation of consequences. It urges individuals to dem demonstrate good character to enlarge the overall social well-being. Have learned the theory of ethical thinking, I now understand my responsibility to the society. I start to look beyond my personal interests. With the support of seven working description of virtual framework, for example, justice, which informs me of community responsibility, and love, which informs me of carrying other benefits. I will be more confident to make ethical decisions when I go to the workplace. However, not all my knowledge is at a theoretical level. The reality will be more complicated. I, need, I will need to read more case to improve my analysis and judgment ability so as to get ready for practice. Ethical thinking also involves the ability to see beyond personal experience. In my blog feedback, Bate clearly explained that many of my conclusions were intuitional assumptions and lack theoretical support. The methodology of ethical thinking and the feedback let me know that over-reliance on personal experience could be a hindrance to academic learning. I should arrive at a conclusion based on sufficient academic evidence and systematic analysis. This understanding is essential for me as a learner and a practitioner. On the one hand, it will enhance my ability to write academic paper. On the other hand, it will make me more rigorous in analyzing ethical problems. Ethical thinking also involves the ability to address issues from all sides. In Lecture 4, Lin asked, Who are the stakeholders of Walmart? Suppliers, I answered. She immediately pointed out that Walmart has many suppliers. You need to specify who are the stakeholders in this case. In my case feedback, but also said that my PST analysis was not complete enough. My learning was sufficient. I usually doubled but didn't go to the root of the matter. This understanding encouraged my inquiring spirit and made me more motivated. I start to keep challenging myself in the start in the learning and decision making process by asking myself, why? So what? If so, what can I do? In conclusion, the theory of ethical thinking and the learning experience made me realize that my thinking dimension was one sided. I have improved my ability to think ethically, deeply and comprehensively.